a lot of times when I'm working, you, you, you're working with a lot of programmed information, and, and, and different things can happen when you work with programmed information, um, particularly drums. Sometimes you might want a little more transient. Sometimes you might want a little bit of realism in the sound. Um, and, and that depends on what you're trying to accomplish with the song. In this song uh, that we're about to take a look at, I, I wanted to get a little more attack on the drums, and I wanted to get a little bit of that, that I don't know how to describe it, that, that kind of little sucky sound the, where the kick drum goes after the attack, you know, tick, and, and so I was, I, I don't know why or what I was looking at, but I saw a, a video of a soccer player, and when he hit, when he struck the soccer ball with his foot, obviously, I guess that's what they always do, um, I'm still learning soccer. Um, it, it gave me that sound, just the sound of his foot hitting the ball. So I searched around the internet for um, penalty kicks in soccer. And I, I, I got about 20 and then cleaned them all up, made them, made them sound good. And I kept eight. And uh, I'm going to give you an example of adding a soccer ball to the sound. And I've got six that I'm, that I'm, I'm going to show you a couple. So check this out. Here's the sound that I had. Okay, here's, here's the sound I was given. Now I added these two kicks. Pretty good, right? But but you can you can hear that something was missing. So this is what's kind of this is what's kind of interesting to me. Um, this is this is what I'm adding. Here's the sound of the soccer ball. <laughs> That's cool. Let me watch this. Here's a different soccer ball. Different soccer ball. Remember number four, that one might be cool. That was the first one. See it? It's got that that if if you were to if you were to um graph the envelope, it's it's kinda oh, I'm doing it backwards. Uh it's kinda like like that. <laughs> so um so let's see what we got. So that's that's what we got. You see what's going on? A minute ago, I, I like the sound of six. Let's see if six still sounds good. Which one do you guys like best out there in uh, video land? That one's got a lot of great point. That one's got a lot of good mids. You know what? Let's try them both. Yeah, let's see what happens.
So that's just my samples without the soccer ball. So you, you, that's kind of cool, right? So um, now there's a there's a history of this. Um, I believe it was the 80s. I'm sure it was the 80s. Um, Bob Clearmountain was one of the first guys to do a, a sample library, and um, he did he did drums, of course. And I don't know how or why we have to ask Bob one day, but he sampled a a basketball hitting the floor in a gymnasium, and that became one of the most widely used early samples around. It was pretty amazing. So there's a there's a bit of a, a history for this, and um, you can use, don't don't be don't be restricted by just using round objects. Um, experiment, try try anything. Um, you know, take two pieces of two by four about two feet long and just clap them together and and, and add that to a hand clap. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do. So 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 remember. You're only limited by your imagination about how to use this this technique, and uh, try and give yourself a little bit of an advantage on the radio. Okay, bye bye.